Chung with Soft has a couple cool mail applications um, that add on to your uh, default mail.app uh, program on the Mac. Uh, two of the ones that I use currently are Sendlater and Cargo Lifter. But they also just came out with another one called Evermail. And this allows you to easily create notes from your email. And I find it pretty handy instead of uh, using the Evernote email address to forward an email to there. Currently, it looks like that you can get 25% off uh, with the discount code Yosemite. So I think it comes out to seven or eight bucks for the app. So once you uh, buy and download the app, uh, you can also do a, a trial. But once you buy and download it, you can go to your mail. And once it's installed, it'll put this little button up here. And if you click an email, you can click this button and you can create a quick note or just create a normal note. You can also do the keyboard shortcuts uh, to quickly do this. So once you're here, let's go ahead and if you create a quick note, it will just take the uh, contents of the email and it'll put it in the notebook that you specify. So you can start typing, like I have the, uh, my inbox is at inbox. So it's there at the top. And then you can also add tags. Or if you want a little bit more robust feature, you can do the note and select your notebook and add your tags. You can also add a reminder. So if this is an email you need to get back to um, you know, later, you can add a reminder that Evernote will remind you. And it includes the text of the email and it'll also include the attachment. So let's go ahead and put it in my inbox and we'll tag this with Evermail. And let's go ahead and add a reminder uh, for the 22nd. Click Save. And let's go over to Evernote. And sync it up. And we see here that test for Evermail, it added a reminder and we have a nice clean uh, Evernote note. And you see the attachment is right here. Now let's go back and look if we forwarded this email, uh, what happens? So let's go back to mail and let's go ahead and forward this to my Evernote email address. send it off and notice here that it says you know begin forwarded message and it's not as clean so if we click send we go back to Evernote we see that it showed up right here and we have right here it says begin forwarded message and it still includes the attachment but we couldn't add a reminder to this and the note title is different because it automatically forwarded which we could have changed in the subject line but it's just another step in the process. And also, if we go back to mail, we see that it also adds a forward uh, to this mail. So we don't now just have the email. We also have this forwarded email. And in my opinion, it gets a little clunky when you're searching uh, emails and then you see you know multiple forwards uh, in one email address. So Evermail just adds a little bit of functionality, a couple uh, keyboard shortcuts to quickly do this. Uh, you can add reminders, and it just makes it overall a little bit better experience. And another helpful thing is that it also adds a link back to the email. So if we go back to the email, if you go back down, you can double click here, and it will open up the email in your mail client. Now, unfortunately, uh, this doesn't work on iOS, so if you click that on iOS, it won't actually take you to the mail app to open it. But when you're at your computer, uh, this is helpful to get back to the original email if you need to respond to it uh, quickly.